Well, when the sun is out, a lot of us like to turn to sunblock as we're supposed to. I know, but what about sunset or when you're spending time indoors? Health reporter Haley Hernandez is getting the answers to these burning questions. Good morning, guys. So can you get sunburned through a car window or an airplane window? Do you know? I've heard the car window for sure. Not yes. sure about airplanes. Yes, both. The answer is yes, you can. In fact, you can even get burned through a white t-shirt. And maybe it's because we feel like we should already know these things or just because we forget. Doctors say there are several embarrassing questions people hesitate to ask. So I got answers from several Houston experts. In secret, people are trying to tan areas where the sun isn't supposed to shine, and it's so sensitive it can land you in the hospital. Something that's normally covered by or should be covered by clothing, um, if you have a severe burn in those areas, the professional burn care is recommended. So genitals or breasts, for example. Well, Dr. John Griffin from Kelsey Siebel Clinic does say Texas is notorious right. for the worst yeah. burns. You never know. You never know. <laughs> but even without burning your bum, doctors say there are other embarrassing questions people hesitate to ask but need to know. For example, you should know the sun's UV rays are harshest between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m., but that doesn't mean you can halt sunscreen application in the evening. Some people also hesitate using sprays because they don't get good reviews on effectiveness. But Dr. Shannon McCann from Texas Children says if it's all your kid will wear, just make sure to apply a thick layer, rub it in, and try doing it indoors if you can so it doesn't blow away before hitting skin. Don't forget a wide brim hat to protect your face, including your lips, which, yes, can burn. And Dr. Mirwat Sami says she sees patients with eyelid cancer every week. Sunglasses with UVA and UVB protection is necessary to shield the delicate skin and protect your vision. And if you do suffer from a burn that goes beyond painful skin, seek urgent care. So just a reminder, you need an SPF of 30 or above with broad spectrum. Broad spectrum means that it protects from both UVA and UVB rays. And how much should you apply? They always say a shot glass full mm. is what you need. But look at that. It looks like a lot, right? Not really. Not when you really. Get it on the body, right? So you don't think so? I feel like because it's more than like what you can hold yeah. in your hand. Okay. So I think that people are not applying this enough. They actually say that only 25 to 50 percent of people are applying the correct amount. Mm -hmm. um, I think if you put that in your hand, it would feel like too much. Yeah. So people probably aren't using that full size. Good point. But that's that's what you should be aiming for. A shot yeah, glass. That is the goal. Yeah. I like how you have your aloe vera in there just in case. <laughs> just so you know, these are things. But yeah, he's um, Dr. Griffin even said that aloe vera, things that can soothe your skin, mm -hmm. it might help, but there's nothing that's going to speed up mm. a sunburn. And even after 3 p.m., you should still put it on. Don't be fooled by the yep. intensity just because it's between 10 to 3. Time it's daylight hours. Yep. Yeah. All right. Good really? information this summer. Thanks, Thanks guys.